So I've got a question from one of my fans on YouTube in my other video about stem walls and that is, what is best in terms of stem wall versus retaining wall? Well, I was pretty amazed first about this strange question so I thought, why not make a video on it? So, here I am with another exciting construction tip for my homeowners about understanding the differences between a stem wall and a retaining wall. But if you're new here, I make relevant explainer and interactive construction videos. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's construct our dreams together, okay? Without wasting the next second, let's delve straight in. Well, if you're here, I believe you already have got the basic concept of what the stem wall is, but if not, I'll recommend you to check my other video that has got an in-depth introduction to the stem wall. I'll try to add the link at the top so you can easily watch it. So I think it's pretty best to start with basics, right? Well, stem walls and retaining walls serve distinct purposes in construction and landscaping, but I must recommend that you should understand their differences because it's crucial to know these basics, whether you're a homeowner, a builder, or even a designer. So let's start with the definition. Stem walls are structural components that connect a building's foundation to its above-ground walls. But hang on a minute, a lot of people out there believe that stem wall is actually a foundation. Yeah, it's true in one sense, but in reality it provides a raised platform that protects the structure from moisture and pests. They are kind of like key to a building's integrity, ensuring stability and resilience. Now, if you're interested to know about its process of pouring, constructing a stem wall involves preparing the site, compacting the soil to prevent settlement, and pouring concrete to create a sturdy base. Moreover, the steel bars reinforce the structure, enhancing its strength. The unique features of stem wall design, including the concrete footing and reinforcement, are essential for supporting the building's weight and resisting soil movement. A well-designed stem wall can last for decades, providing reliable support for the structure. Retaining walls, on the other hand, are engineered systems designed to hold back soil and prevent erosion, often found in landscapes with abrupt elevation changes. These walls utilize drainage systems to manage water flow, preventing hydrostatic pressure buildup. Key components of retaining walls include the base and footing, which must withstand lateral pressure and vertical stems that rise from the footing, providing resistance to soil forces. Proper drainage is crucial to prevent water buildup, which can compromise the wall's structural integrity. The choice of backfill, such as gravel or sand, enhances stability and drainage. Retaining walls can be constructed from various materials, including concrete blocks, poured concrete, treated timbers, or natural stone. The lifespan of retaining walls varies based on materials, construction quality, and environmental factors, with well-built concrete walls lasting over 50 years. The primary function of stem walls is to support a building's load and provide a raised platform, protecting against flooding and pests. They are integral to the foundation system, supporting floors and exterior walls. Retaining walls, however, are designed to hold back soil and manage sloped land, creating level areas for construction, gardens or terraces. They expand usable land and provide structural support, enhancing both functionality and aesthetics. Different types of retaining walls, such as gravity walls and cantilever walls, cater to specific needs. Gravity walls rely on their mass to retain soil, while cantilever walls use a footing to provide leverage and stability. Mechanically stabilized earth walls with layers of reinforcing strips offer exceptional bearing capacity and versatility in design. In comparing stem walls to retaining walls, the main distinction lies in their applications. Stem walls support vertical loads and prevent foundational settlement while retaining walls resist lateral earth pressure. Deciding between them involves considering factors such as wall height, construction requirements, and soil conditions. For instance, stem walls elevate structures above the ground, protecting against moisture and flooding, and are essential in areas with problematic soils or high water tables. Retaining walls, on the other hand, are suitable for restraining soil on slopes and managing elevation changes. Potential challenges and failures can arise in construction projects. 
Retaining wall failure often results from inadequate design or construction, with visible cracks, tilting or bulging indicating distress. Proper design, drainage and soil compaction are crucial to prevent such failures. DIY retaining wall projects may be feasible for small-scale applications, but professional input is recommended for complex designs involving reinforced concrete or stone veneer. In conclusion, choosing between a stem wall and a retaining wall depends on the intended purpose and site conditions. Stem walls are crucial for building foundations, providing stability and protection against moisture. Retaining walls manage soil erosion and elevation changes, enhancing landscape functionality. Evaluating structural needs, environmental considerations and long-term maintenance plans will guide you in making an informed decision that ensures safety, functionality and value for years to come.